hey, hey, everyone, Tankenstein here. In this video, I've got your first gameplay and overview straight from the Seek and Destroy dev server for the F-15C MSIP-2. This is a currently rank 8 battle rating 13.0 fighter in the American Air Force's tech tree, and of course comes in right after the F-15A in said tech tree. And this vehicle is essentially an overall upgrade compared to the F-15A in a few different ways, but the main way is the AIM-120As. Now, before I continue, just bear in mind being that this is the dev server, literally everything that you see here including the model the details of it the stats anything that you can imagine is subject to change up to the release of this and even beyond the release of this major update so you want to bear that in mind now that being said again this thing has aim 128 amrams which are fox 3 active radar homing missiles and they're pretty good you have a maximum speed of mach 4 maximum overload of 35 g's and decent enough stats otherwise now the thing is is that even though these actually have a pretty decent radar within them bear in mind you also have to remember that these do have mini radars within the missile themselves which is why they are active radar homing once they get within that 16 or so kilometer range it kind of switches off from the direction of the radar here which is data link to and then kind of guides itself to the enemy whereas the russian equivalent the r-77 this has 50 g's of overload yeah that's right and it also has 10 seconds longer missile guidance time. So I'm not entirely sure how these are going to fare once they go to the live server, the AMRAMs that is, but we'll have to wait and see. It just kind of is a waiting game at this point, but I can tell you with confidence that thus far I've been killed by a few of these, so it's not like they are terrible. Otherwise, of course, you have the AIM-9Ms, which are very, very good as close range missiles. They are not thrust vectoring, but they do have IRCCM and they are smokeless motors, which is very nice. And of course, you have a pretty decent suite of anti-ground ordnance including up to three 2,000 pound tv guided bombs which are fantastic a whole lot of drop tanks and also a bunch of dumb bombs so that being said let's get into a few matches see what we could do with these am ramps and am 9 ms and uh have a good time oh and by the way this does have a slightly better more advanced radar compared to the f-15a as you can see this is the an apg 63 this is the am apg 63 v1 which also has hms mode this lacks hms mode otherwise the range search mo zone all those things are the same between the two so that said let's get into oh and also of course this has a slightly weaker engine believe it or not it's got the f100 pw 220 as opposed to the pw 100 this has 85 10 kgf afterburner this is 84 10 so again anything can change up to and including beyond the release but you never know that said now let's finally get into a few matches and see what we can do okay here we are with the f-15c and some amrams now when it comes to uh Fox 3 or active radar homing missiles, basically, at least as of right now in War Thunder, they have to be within 16 kilometers in order for them to start tracking the enemy. Uh, so before that, nice, I got myself an AMRAM kill. Uh, but basically what happens is, as you just saw there, the radar or the, uh, the whatchamacallit itself... Uh, ooh, okay, we have... I'm gonna go ahead and just switch to an AIM-9M. AIM. But what happens is that the um, beyond 16 kilometers, the missile uses your plane's radar, more or less, to kind of guide it in. Whereas within 16 kilometers, again, ideally within 16 kilometers, it will then switch over to its own uh, inboard or onboard radar that's at the tip of the missile. Also, I am flying really, really slowly. Okay, we have this SU-27SM. Now, bear in mind, this is a very dangerous thing for me to be doing. Uh, so I don't know... I might actually hit my ally. I'm gonna go fire one more at this guy, because he is still up. And because I was getting a little hungry for a second... Uh, whatchamacallit kill. I have not been doing well with AMRAMs, I'll be honest with you guys. But, this is a pretty decent match for them, I guess. I'm actually doing okay here. But... Basically, what you guys do need to know is that within 16 kilometers, that tends to be the limit, right? 16 kilometers is more or less the absolute limit for the, um, you know, for, for AM ramps to start working. I'm just going to get a finish off kill here. Not a steal or kill steal, but rather a finish if I get lucky, and I kind of do. Very nice. And then, obviously, within 16 kilometers, more or less, I would say, like, within 12 you can trust the AMRAM to then um, 
you know, kind of work on its own radar and, and kind of take itself to the enemy. So I said, let's get into one more match, see what we could do. As you can see there, I mean, Amrams, they're good. Uh, all Fox 3s more or less work the same way. Some Fox 3s, like the Micahs, like the R77s, do have a higher turn rate, so the, they can pull more Gs. Micahs, I think, can do 50, as can the um, as can R77s, but the Micahs, if I'm not mistaken, are the best overall from what I'm to be, uh, from what I've been told. And, uh, you know, whereas the Amrams, for example, even though they can only pull 35 Gs, they can pull, uh, you know, like, they have better tracking. So, uh, oh, and one other thing to note here, with the F-15C, I forget if the A has it, but you do have helmet mounted display, which is fantastic, and that's also what that extra radar mode is. So, as you saw, or helmet mounted search, or whatever it is, that's what that is. I can basically switch it to this, and, well, in theory, select one of them. Anyways... So the last match got cut off because the game crashed because something happened with the dev server that I guess was pretty universal. It got reverted to some older version and then put back, which is why I am now playing. So my apologies for the last match kind of ending a little bit uh, sloppily, so to speak. It looks like it was edited poorly or like my video editing software crashed, but it was War Thunder. And, like I said, I think it was a server-wide issue. Now, that said, let's go ahead and see if we can get some more kills with these AMRAMs. And also, of course, the F-16, or the F-15C. And, um, you know, I mean, overall, the plane itself is an upgrade. Again, I mean, it's got the helmet mount display, um, you know, tracking feature. As you can see there, I'm tracking him because of that. I can go track this guy because of that. It's pretty cool, don't get me wrong. Uh, but it's just... There's not really all too many upgrades with this plane outside of the fact that I can carry Amram. So I'm going to go ahead and fire on this guy here. Probably not the best idea. Uh, one way that you can kind of track about how close you are. Oh, my apologies. I thought that it tracked it based on the missile itself, not the plane. I'm going to go fire one more. Probably not a wise move, but I'm kind of a wise A, if, if you know what I mean. And now I'm going to go ahead and track someone else because at that point, the uh, internal radars for the missiles should have taken over. Hopefully. Oh, and we have an AMRAM kill. Very nice. Very nice. Not exactly common for me to get an AMRAM kill. Um, but I'm also not... I'm not a huge fan of radar-guided missiles. So that said, it uh, looks like for the majority of the enemy team, they're all dead. So, oh, that that would be bad. Um, okay, I'm going to go launch an AIM-9M on this guy. Hopefully I can stay out of view. And here we go. We are now in the crosshairs. I might even go ahead and launch an Amran so what close range at him. Let's see if that does anything. And it's still tracking, still tracking, and it missed. Now, we do have the AIM-9Ms. These are, um, which I'm gonna call it guided. Can we get a, a gun kill? Nope, that was ugly on my part. But the, the AIM-9Ms do have, thankfully, um, IRCCM. That's what I meant to say. So, I'm gonna go launch in about a second here. Let's do that. See if we can get that kill. If not, we can get a gun kill. I am sure of that. And we have it. Not too bad. Um, let's get out of the way before I get picked off by someone else on my team. And then kind of go towards the... Ooh, we have this guy here. I'm going to go fire an aim one Ooh, You know what? That F-16 is going for him. I feel like that'd be a waste of a missile, to be honest with you. But, I mean, in general, uh, when it comes to Fox 3s, they are going to be typically about as maneuverable as an IR missile. However, they also have much more range, and they're not going to be shaken quite as easily as most IR missiles. So, it really depends. Oh, I got killed. Oh, no. This guy launched multiple AIM-120s. Let's see if the one I just fired is going to get a hit. I doubt it. And it did! Look at that! The M120, the final one that I fired, did get a hit. 
it was directing itself towards the enemy, and that's what I love so much. So, that said, I think you guys get the, the whole point when it comes to Fox 3s. Basically, they are like a marriage of AIM-1, or AIM-9s and AIM-7s, or R-73s and R-27s. Basically, kind of like a co combination of both of those things. Best of both worlds put into one missile, and then it's given its own radar, which is even better. So, they are going to be pretty good. I suspect that they are going to cause a calamity once top tier kind of gets all of these once the next major update comes out and it will be a struggle to adjust especially for people who don't have them i feel like stock runs stock grinding might become even harder but that said thanks for watching and i'll see you all on the other side take care everyone